shoes and dudettes. Nice gloomy day today, so you know I'm happy. Very cool today. So let's get into it real quick. I have a lot of things that happened in the past 24 hours again. So Jack Jones, he's a cornerback for USC. He's academically ineligible for this season coming up, which pretty sucks because he was doing really good towards uh, making a, you know, an impact last year with a bunch of interceptions and actually playing well. <clears throat> there were a few games where you're kind of questioned, like, how good is he really? Because he did get beat a lot, even though he was, like, one of the fastest guys in high school. But it kind of sucks, and you never know what his future is going to be now, if he's going to try to make it up or maybe transfer out to go to an easier school so he doesn't have to worry about academics as much. But... Too bad, we'll see what happens with that stuff. And then you also have a power forward five star coming out of high school who committed to USC, Isaiah Mobley. I think people are gonna have only questions about him signing there because I believe one of his I believe his dad is one of the assistant coaches or something like that. But you know, it happens everywhere. All these kids go to certain schools as long as their dads are coaches there. Cause I mean it happened last year with Michael Porter Jr. and he went to Two places. He went to Washington, and when his dad got fired from there, his dad went to Missouri, and then, you know, he went there too. So, it's just all the same BS as always. But hopefully, he's a good guy. He's a five-star guy, so there's a lot of hopes for him. But just looks like another athletic guy that they have. So, hopefully, he'll get a lot more playing time down, and you know, later in his career. <laughs> So for USC football recruiting news, we have Gino Q, I don't want to butcher your last name, a three-star defensive lineman out of Hawaii committing. It's always great to add size and depth on that defensive line. So welcome to the team, and congrats, fight on. Then we also have Vincent Jackson retiring from the NFL. Been 12 seasons. His better seasons was with the Chargers, so I'm glad he was here. He's one of the main reasons why I liked the Chargers back then and started becoming a fan right at that same time with football and everything. So... Congrats to him. Hopefully, you know, retirement suits you and look forward to seeing what else you're going to do in your career. And thanks for everything, buddy. And Carl Anthony Towns, the uh, center for the Minnesota Timberwolves, seems to be unhappy with the situation up there. It obviously means that now he's in a bunch of trade talks, which is pretty crazy for a guy with that much talent already, and he's going to be on the trade block. But obviously, if you're going to have the number one through five pick, a lot of those teams are probably going to be in play. Hopefully, obviously, I want my LA Lakers to be in play, and it just seems like they're going to be willing to give up any of those young players that are performing really well right now, whether it's Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball. Josh Hart most likely too. Any of those guys are available, I'm sure, for trades. And if you can get a guy like Carl Anthony Towns, this guy is so young in his career and he's still this good in Luke Walton's offense would be pretty awesome. So looking forward to that. Hopefully that's some good news and he doesn't go to, like say, a Phoenix Suns or a Sacramento Kings who have the one and two picks. And we also have Phillip Rivers. I don't know if he suggested or somebody suggesting that he could probably play five years. I know he said he wants to play at least until the new stadium opens up in 2020, but I don't think, I know his contract ends, I believe, after this year. I just don't think this guy can play at a high level that, that late in his career. If it's with another team and he shows some flashes, then that's good, but I just think the Chargers need to finally make a, a push for a new quarterback, younger quarterback, and start over and see how that goes, but... Yeah, sorry, Phillip Rivers. Hopefully you continue your career, but hopefully it's not with the Chargers after this season. Have a bunch of guys that seem like the Lakers are interested in Dante DiVincenzo again and Gary Trent Jr. both shine in the scrimmages at the NBA Combine the last two days and they've talked with 
the Lakers as well. Not sure if they scheduled any workouts. I know Shamari Pons, a guy who who totally killed Duke this year by himself pretty much. He, I believe, has a workout already scheduled for the Lakers. I'm sure he talked to them and so did DeAnthony Melton had an interview, a guy who was always in question at USC this last year and I don't believe he played at all. But he did meet me with them. I don't know if he's gonna work out for them yet. But a lot of local guys, a lot of very high caliber shooting guards that they're looking at, point guards that can make plays. So hopefully one of these guys sticks and was able to perform well for the Lakers and hopefully they don't trade them because these guys seem to be pretty good. Then we have a local product from here, Blake Barnett. He's from Corona, California, where I live. And he went to Santiago High School. Yes, it's a rival of my high school, but I knew about him just because he was a high, a five-star guy going to Alabama. And he had won the spot over the guy who's been there the past two years, but he just struggled so much against USC and they finally took him out and he never got to play another down, which sucks for him. But then he transferred to Arizona State. I don't know why, because there's a guy actually from where I used to live, and from uh, Newhall, his, from Hart High School. His name is Brady White, who's a pretty talented player as well, who came in his same class. But I believe they're looking at him. They looked at him more to be a starter because now Blake Barnett has officially transferred again down to University of South Florida, who kind of go for quarterbacks like him, a runner type of with a big powerful arm as well so hopefully this team will be able to use him stick him around because he does have some talent he just needs to be in the right system and hopefully down there in south florida it's the right system for him then we also have big news that johnny manzel is finally going to play pro football or semi-pro football again in the canadian football league it took him a while to finally get his act together but good for him hopefully he's able to show what he can do at least over there and if he has good enough numbers if he's blowing up kind of like in college, then I'm sure the NFL will take another look at him again. You know, I just don't think he can last in the NFL just because of how quick the game is over there. But maybe as a backup he could, but as long as he's doing something like this, it's always good for the sport of football. So thanks for watching, people. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you all think. It's, uh, it's going to be a pretty busy weekend for me. Wish me luck. Have a great rest of your weekend.